Uh, hi YouTube, it is 9.20 in the morning and this is Worm and uh, I want to show you guys how, if you're Linux fans, ignore me now, I want to show you guys how to get rid of this crap because nobody likes the way command prompt looks, right? I mean, do you guys agree with me? So I want to make it look sexier and to do this all we need is a batch file, a really simple batch file. Um, just add echo off, color 70, prompt. You don't even have to enter this, just keep it the way it is, and that pretty much keeps it um, for a temporary fix anyway. If you want to do or make it permanent, permanent, that involves reg edit, registry, edit it. And to do this, well, for me, you have to find, sorry guys, I'm really tired. You have to find H key local machine, go down to Microsoft. Microsoft right there. Go down to command processor. And if you don't see this auto run key right there, you have to create the key. You can do that with just new string value. And then auto run. Well I have it set for Windows CMDs dot CMD dot CMD. And you can just get that here, but I deleted it for this video. So when you hit or when you type in color 70 into control prompt it makes it look like that that looks a little bit more like Linux terminal anyway to me I don't know what you guys think I'm currently working on getting all getting rid of that crap up there because that's really starting to piss me off so we go to untitled notepad right and just type in at echo off you really don't even need that but I don't know why batch programmers do that color 70 which will change to which is changed to this color and then prompt the brackets percentage sign username another percentage sign dot user don't name or domain percentage computer name and then I will have this in the description link for you guys to copy and paste if you want to but to use regedit to do this I recommend I'm gonna save this and you can just save right to C drive to navigate to that you go down to computer computer local disk C and then go to Windows and this is the best way to save it that place because it's simple you just type in capital C with the colon um, backslash or no for forward slash Windows and regedit for the new string value and then you'll be done pretty much and that's it and then it'll look just like that but it'll have a more Linux feel you'll see in a second cmd.e or cmd cmd.cmd save it to Windows it doesn't matter you can save it anywhere you want just as long as you know how to navigate to it but there you go and then now that it's done done saving once you open up your command prompt your normal command prompt it'll look like this and as you can see it already you see my my domain name my username as ducky and then add ducky like like a linux pc c users anthony and then there's this pseudo cache sign the pseudo cache sign is what's used in linux before you type pseudo apt get or pseudo apt web get or pseudo wg get or even making administrator privileges to your computer but since you're using Windows, you don't need that. You can just activate it like, or use it like any command prompt, like your normal command prompt. Well, uh, I just wanted to show you guys that because I haven't uploaded a video in a while. And, well, I don't think you guys were really waiting on why, but it doesn't matter. Um, enjoy. Enjoy.